This is Coach Arlen Harris, former NFL running back, owner, and lead trainer at Runner Performance. We're going to take a quick peek at one of our fifth grade athletes, Jay Mack, who's lined up at the top of your screen in a two by two spread formation, uh, motioning across running jet sweep to the left. And uh, jet sweeps are designed to get the ball outside, obviously, and you can see. Once Jay Mack gets to the mesh point with the quarterback and he gets the football, his eyes go to the end man on the line of scrimmage. So he's either going to be reached by his bigs up front and zone blocks or the back coming out the backfield is going to try to set the edge or seal him. He took too much of an inside approach to running back and the defender was able to play over the top, but Jay Mack does not panic. And that's what we teach. And the thing right here, he made a decisive cut, very deliberate on putting his foot in the ground and getting vertical and getting upfield. So once he gets upfield, the running back continues to play, does a good job, and all the outside blocks you can see, you can put an X on him, X on him, X on him, all those guys are covered up. So a good youth back would just go ahead, take all that real estate, bounce it outside, and try to outrun everybody. We teach our boys to try to be great. So this is a big boy run. He stays vertical. Not just running outside and creating pursuit angles for the defense. He stays vertical. And right here, as these two kids are fighting their butts off, trying to stay on the block and the other one trying to make a play, he folds inside. And in essence, by Jay Mack climbing the ladder, he was able to block two without even using one of his teammates. So we teach our kids to get in and get right back out and run through the smoke. So he gets in, puts his foot in the ground, Takes up two, his teammate continues to play, and this is what I like, running through the smoke. Even though his outside receiver is not engaged in that block, instead of climbing the ladder and running outside and giving that kid an angle, he makes the decision that he's going to run through the smoke, cover up the ball, arm bar, or two hands on that football, and fall forward for a pretty big game. So let's go back to the beginning and just watch it in real speed. Again, this kid's broken a lot of good runs um, throughout the season, but when you're able to watch him full speed and make decisive cuts and manipulate all these angles on the football field at this level, he's going to be very special.